least last summer I did a video about can I buy a full coordinate on Wish and it turns out the dress was a replica but the quality of all the accessories were not so bad and I got everything shipped quite uh, quickly for a good price so this time I decided to do the same but with Aliexpress. I got more experience from buying things from Aliexpress because I buy there all the time and I bought everything for a full coordinate except maybe a bag because I could not find a cute one and so I didn't want to buy one just to buy one that would be uh, ugly and also I didn't get a petticoat last time I didn't get a petticoat either and I want to do a full video just on petticoats and uh, crinolines and such. I will put a link to all the articles that I showed today in the description and if you click on them and end up buying that or anything else on Aliexpress I will make a very small commission on this sale because those are affiliate links. So this helps my channel a lot even if you don't want to buy that if you want to check out Aliexpress for anything just click on any of my links and you will help me. My name is Joelle and you're watching Fluffy Kawaii Joe, the channel where I try to show you that everybody can be kawaii. I do videos on Mondays and Thursdays, so if you're new here, please consider subscribing and see you at the very end for a full detail on this coordinate before I change into the new coordinates that I got. So we have three questions for this video. Is it Ita? Ita means painful to watch in Japanese and so it's like not very well made Lolita coordinates that would not follow the rules of Lolita. So let's see. And do we have replicas? I try not, but we never know. And do I recommend buying Lolita fashion on AliExpress? I will answer that at the very end of the video because I have no idea yet. So let's get to it. I bought a dress, a blouse, shoes, wrist cuffs, a necklace, a head bow, two pairs of socks because one would go with the coordinate and the other one I really wanted and I think that's it. So for all of this my total was $202 and if you remove the $8 for the extra pair of socks that you don't need it's under $200. There was no shipping on most of these items because this is usually the case with uh, Aliexpress compared to Wish, which Wish tend to give you more shipping and also it ships quicker, so maybe that's better, I don't know. Uh, free shipping with the Aliexpress is usually very long. Uh, the articles took between two to seven weeks to come for some, so I think seven weeks is a little bit long and but no shipping and the shoes and the dress were a little bit more expensive and i also did not have a bag and my total with shipping for uh wish was 165 maybe so this is definitely more expensive but my goal was not to get the cheapest possible coordinate my goal was to have a pretty coordinate that I could actually wear every day with my regular wardrobe and I decided to go with a GSK and a blouse because I would have more use of those than a OP like last time. So this is why it's a little bit more expensive and also the shoes were very pretty and everything. So my goal is not the cheapest coordinate you can find on Aliexpress because you can definitely find cheaper but my goal was to have something that will actually be able to reuse a lot. Okay, let's open everything. So this one I will keep for last because it has a dress. And okay, let's start with the wig. Okay, I like the packaging. It's uh, the usual wig packaging. It's like a square box made of the cardboard and also they gave me a free wig cap which is awesome i always need a wig cap i usually keep a wig cap with every wig i have so then when i take the whole bag of wig to a convention or something i don't end up with no wig cap so okay this one is like blonde and purple together <laughs> it's kind of funny I don't know, it's, again, I'm pretty sure it's a color that will not go well with my skin. We'll see. 
we'll see maybe not i don't know it's kind of fun it's like more blonde here and more purple here and it's a little bit wavy i think it's nice the quality is awesome it's uh, not too shiny it's uh, very soft oh let me see and you find the thing to adjust the wig to your head so wig is very good i will put the price of everything here because i don't have them in mind but it was really not expensive and yeah i like it very much it has i think the bangs is a little bit long like always i might have to cut them i don't know we'll see okay wigs so far i like yes okay so those are the tights from bobo shop and they're supposed to be marooned with white flowers okay it's a nice maroon it's a little bit darker oh what's going on i like it i think it's a very nice color very very nice color like almost like my hair okay and you never know with those tights maybe it's written but those are kind of thick so very good for winter definitely not good for now because i'm really really sweating already with this summer heat but okay i think they're very pretty and they seem quite big yeah i think that was they will fit and they're pretty okay okay nice nice tights okay for the head bow i managed to make a full cord in it in maroon and white but the head bow theme is not really the flowers like on the tights it's more like wintry and i thought it would be nice to have that head bow with my other wintry dresses so definitely not for summer again but i like it very much okay so it has a gross grain ribbon here with you cannot really see but they are white snowflakes and gold snowflakes on a white ribbon on top of another sheer ribbon and those made the head bow together with a lot of uh, lace and then you have beads here and another plastic snowflake and pom-poms so i think it will be very pretty with my with two of my winter dresses yep i like it very much i think it's very pretty the quality is not the best so here i already have one pulled thread but and here it's just cut cut out but it is burned so i won't fray so yeah i think for the price definitely a very good quality very nice like always the box is all smashed but, i mean it's pretty though so the shoes were a little bit more expensive around 52 dollars i think but i needed new sweet uh, shoes in white because the ones i have are replicas and are a little bit too classic okay so the white is a nice pearly white and something very good the sole is clear i mean beige so that means that when you walk and your feet actually rub it together like accidentally it won't make like ugly dark marks here it will maybe make no marks at all with this okay awesome so here we have a snap nice and very cute cutout of uh, stars here and okay what i liked was this so it has a chain with some stars and also the lace the lace is really not a pretty lace it's and also this part here this is cheap lace that usually you're not use for lolita but since it's on the shoes it doesn't bother me that much but it's it is kind of less quality and the rest of the shoe is actually very good quality so yeah lace not the best part but something very cool we have tons of detachable clips i tend to not love detachable clips i used to love the idea and then i made a lot of fluffy toy shoes with detachable clips and then i keep losing them so then now i'm 
less inclined to have the detachable bows and I would much rather have the bows attached to that. And so by the way, uh, with Fluffy right now, you can choose your bows if you want them attached or detachable. So, and that's more cute stuff. So this is definitely not just a plain bow. You have, uh, this one has some fabric, uh, clear mesh fabric with gold stars and you have chain with three stars. So this is definitely cool. And okay, maybe I'll put this one here or is it too big? Hmm, yeah, maybe, maybe. And this one, maybe you can put it here. If you want something super OTT. I love that. I think it's so, 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 so sweet and so pretty. Oh my god. Okay, the shoes look amazing. And I usually wear 39 and this is size 40. So I will just hope it fits. And yep. And since they're detachable, maybe you can put them somewhere else. Maybe like here. And I have tried putting detachable bows like on the back here, but this rubbing to your uh, foot is really not a good idea and very not comfortable. So you should not do that. Is it also a snap here? Oh, I have two snaps. This is like a regular like clothing snap, I would say. And this one is more like the usual Lolita shoe snap. And you can change the how tight your shoe is not bad and it says it comes from l and d so i don't know guys i don't know if this is a copy of a big brand if it's a replica or not i don't think so but if it is let me know and actually yeah shoe is amazing now let's just see if everything fits later okay we just have here maybe it's a little bit of glue that is outside and that is a bit dirty and I saw yeah, a little bit stains, but I mean, it's white. Of course it will be stained. And here, there's a weird like pink dot here. I don't know if it was uh, something for manufacturing that didn't go out or not, but yeah. Okay, on the box there was one paper with Hello Kitty, probably nothing official. And those are nice that you can put on the back of your shoe so it doesn't hurt. So that's good. Let's see the size first. And there's tulip sachet. Okay, if I want to plant some tulips, I guess I have seeds. I don't know if it's really seeds. It sounds like it. I wouldn't think that planting seeds from China in Switzerland or anywhere else in the world will be a good idea. Maybe, maybe if it's just in a pot in your house, but then still, uh -uh, I don't think it's a good idea. I will not use this. I am not an eco-terrorist. And this is the blouse. This is weird. I don't know. I don't know what's happening here. Like it's glued together and it's a little bit scratchy, but it's over the dress, so it's not an issue. But there's stains on that already. And the lace is not the prettiest lace, but it's not ugly. And okay, there's tons of stains on that lace. Kind of weird. Okay, not the prettiest lace and loose threads but I, th I think it was like $12 so it's not that expensive so for the quality I guess it's okay and this is just another super light white chiffon blouse that would have been perfect for my trip um, in California I mean when you need to wear Lolita very often in summer that you sweat a lot my tip is wear very short and light blouses like these ones and then just case because you don't want to sweat in your piece and if you don't wear a blouse because it's too hot and then you sweat in your JSK, you don't want that either. So you sweat in your blouse, you buy blouses not too expensive so you can just put them in the wash and then you don't need to wash your JSK every day. That's very good. Okay, so 
I thought that would be perfect for having another basic blouse for the summer. Ray scarves! Okay, I wanted to have a full a uh, cohesive look of course like a full uh, coordinate and also I wanted to buy stuff that I would actually use and I actually kind of need more accessories in uh, maroon so wine colorway so I think this is very pretty and I have a pair of wrist cuffs in maroon that I don't really like oh it's tight I think they are way more beautiful than the one that I have that I don't really like because they are not big enough they're like too tight but yeah oh I like it I like them very much very cute very cute they're a little bit tight to pass your arm but then it's fine it's not too too tight okay I think they have other colors and they're very pretty so the wrist cuff I highly recommend again a pull thread but it's not too terrible. The quality is actually quite nice out there, doesn't it? Yay! Risk offs! Okay. I think this is a gift. You can never have too many uh, hair clips with stars and especially in gold. So, yay! And here's the necklace. I needed more necklaces in maroon. And I noticed that I kind of bought the same kind that I already have. But it's nice, it's a choker with pearls and it's, you know, I really like when it's lace that you can put another ribbon in and it, this one is a very pretty lace with the super cute stars and everything. Very pretty, definitely super pretty. I like it very much. So it's a little bit classic and old school. We'll see, I hope that the coordinate will be pretty. Oh, I did not put back my other wrist cuff. Okay, and those tights maybe I could go with this dress or maybe not and then I guess it's just tights that I wanted to have and I mean this socks basically but yeah, I wanted to have some sort of socks like that. I know that Baby and Angelic Pretty do some like that and I don't know if those are replicas or just similar ones because I've seen some in other Taobao stores too so honestly I don't know maybe those are replicas okay let me do that <laughs> so you can see what it looks like it's kind of very nice I like it very much very nice I wanted something that is very more basic and uh, I have tons of uh, socks in uh, more ivory and these are really more white so We'll see, it will not go so well with this because the shoes are white and usually I like to make a contrast between the shoes and the tights, but I wanted the socks. So if you want to deduct that from the total, you can, but it was just the same store that would have been stupid to not buy them together. Anyways, let's go to the dress. Okay, first of all, it's kind of heavy and it's from Alice Girl and I have a tag and a tag here and washing instructions in English that's amazing and the bows are falling and some extra it's a cord that uh, like chain that I can put somewhere okay I don't think this is a replica and especially Alice Girl is uh, known to be cheaper so I think it's totally possible it's the original especially with the tag I don't think that when you copy the dress you put the tag I don't know and it's the right size it's a size large and it has the tag here so I think it's all good and let me see it seems plenty of room the bodice is kind of short though and but there's plenty of room to make the straps longer so maybe I can make it way lower by just getting the straps lower let's hope so and so this is the dress the print is gorgeous so it's a little bunnies and ducks and uh, birds in cages i guess and with the presents and leaves and bows and flowers and we have an apple and a crown and crystals and 
Oh my god, the print is really, really pretty. The color of the dress is amazing, I love it. Especially it matches my hair again. Okay, right now I really decided that my wardrobe will be all mint and pink and I keep buying more dresses. Okay, I have a lot of navy too and a lot of maroon too, so that's fine if I keep those too, but I will try not to go too much around those. Okay, something else that keeps bothering me, maybe... It's not the first time in China I see that in a Tower brand. Okay. This is full white and this is ivory. That bothers me a lot to have ivory and full whites to get there. Here I don't think it's not too noticeable. Okay, does it like pull thread? No, it's like loose a thread here. I think I can pull on it. Can I? Uh, I don't know. Let's pull on it. Let's we'll see. Yeah, it was just not attached to the dress. Okay, because this was unpretty. Okay, and the back is just fully shirt and no lacing. And we have waist ties that are attached. Okay, so I'm not very fan of that because I do hate waist ties and I usually even with brand dresses, I remove them and <laughs> store them. So when they are attached, you have to make a nice bow on the back. And I'm too lazy to do that. And so especially when they are attached, you cannot do some of my tricks to make a nice bow in the back. So I don't know what I will do. I will have to learn to tie my waist ties in the back without looking, I guess. And so here you can see that you have two buttons and um, there's none here, but probably it's because you can put this. And this is nice because this has ooh, a lot of glue strands, but two clips. Okay, this is weird because this, uh, how do you say that, pin is upside down for me. I think it's better that it's like this, so it hangs from the top and not from the bottom which is a bit weird, but that's still fine. It's not just one in the middle and this falls, it's like, we'll hold it quite well. So I think if I wear it like that, you can put it here or it will hide the whole dress. So maybe I will put it in the front and maybe, wait, maybe this is to put in the front. We'll see. And it's very gorgeous because it also has a little cage and inside of the cage you have, I don't understand what this is. Okay, this is a bit inside, but they have hooks, four hooks. Oh, so yeah, 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 I do understand. It's to make something like this. One here, one here, and one here, and one here, and the dress fell, and yes, but how do you do that? Maybe you have to look up a picture of the dress so maybe you attach it to to the lace maybe to the lace I don't know I will find out and I will show you how was the best way to do it okay um, the bow seems not very centered can I change it or is it tie? no I think I can okay we have the same lace here as on the top and okay the dress is not um uh, straight it has big big scallops and so under it you have the lining and the lining has another layer of ruffled chiffon which is kind of nice again this would be more like even yellow Okay, no, this is the same as here, so it's kind of ivory and with the white on top. Not too, too disturbing, but really not my preference. And since there's kind of a white and ivory on the print, it's not too much of a trouble. So, no, I think it's good. Let me just go through my coordinates. This is a blouse from Lady Sloth. This is a dress from Ichigo Miko. This is a wig from Lock Shop, and this tatbo I got in a swap. I don't remember where it's from. This is from Fluffy This is handmade, and this was from my wish haul. Actually, I wear them all the time. So now let's change into all this. 
Okay, what do you think? I actually am super happy about that. So the blouse is plus size and super comfortable. Uh, it has, you can see it, a very white bow here. So I decided to put this over to hide it. And the head bow is gorgeous. The wig is very nice, I like it. It's a little bit more curly here than here, but um, I guess you can style it. The only thing is that I'm not really sure it's a color that's very beautiful with my skin tone. I think it make, makes me look older. I think the more bright and colorful ones suits me better, but I like the bangs like that. It's a little bit too long, like I had to put the middle here instead of maybe here. The necklace is super pretty, awesome. I ended up looking at the picture <laughs> to see how this was made and I think it's very pretty too. The dress is fully shirt so I had no issue pulling it over my head, especially because there's no zips, so that's perfect. And I think it's still a bit high waisted, but that's fine. My real waist is well lower, but with the longer straps, it's fine. It's not that I'm all stuck. All my boobs can fit in it, so that's good. And the thing is, it's a longer dress, so my petticoats ends up a little high. So if you have a longer petticoat, that's better. But since it's not a, a hoop skirt, it doesn't really make an ugly shape when I walk or anything. So it's just nice. And the bow here, I also looked at the picture. It's weird because it's attached only on the sides and I first attached it uh, because it's from the top uh, right at the waist and it was at the bottom and I looked at the picture and I had it higher so I did like that but then it just moves that's kind of weird because I don't know the middle is not attached and I have uh, I left the tag on it because I never know so many dresses I buy and they ended up too small I just want to keep the tag in case I have to um, resell it but this is not the case. This one is pretty. It fits me and I'm super, super happy. Uh, the waist, the wrist cuffs are very comfortable, very nice. Uh, the color is a little bit too red to go with, well with this dress and maybe since I like to um, do contrast, I think I would like to have white wrist cuffs with the, uh, this dress if I'm wearing white here, maybe. But uh, other than that, really good wrist cuffs. I really like them. The tights are a little bit less thick than I thought, so it's really good. Actually, it's not too thick and not too thin. Very good. And they're, it's big enough so it doesn't stretch. Like, you know, when it's too stretchy, you can it becomes transparent if you have bigger legs, but it's not the case on my legs, so that's very good. And the shoes are actually, I ordered a size 40 and they're actually too big and I'm a size 39. So it looks like they're kind of uh, true to size and uh, really like a real 40. And so maybe I will have to wear um, a sole in it to be comfortable in that, but they're very pretty and the snaps are very good. I would say that patterns like that for tights or socks is not very beautiful for plus size legs because it stretches so much. Maybe some patterns that are more straight will elongate your leg and will be prettier. All in all, okay, let's answer the questions. Is it Ita? Definitely not. Absolutely, you can find real Lolita fashion on AliExpress and this is not Ita. Is it a replica? I really don't think it's a replica, at least the dress. Uh, it has a tag and it was a regular price for this dress. And yeah, I don't think it's a replica. If you guys know that it's a replica or think it's a replica, write it in the comments, but I don't think it is. And third question, do I recommend buying Lolita Fashion on AliExpress? I would say all the accessories, Go for it, they are cheap, they are usually good quality for the price. Dresses, uh, if it's your first Lolita dress, do not buy it on Wish or AliExpress because there's so many things labeled as Lolita that are not Lolita or that are replicas or anything. So 
don't buy your first rest if you don't know a lot of Lolita. If you're a more advanced Lolita and that you know what you're looking for, you know the brands and such, then you can find nice things here instead of going to a Taobao reseller. It's like basically a Taobao reseller also. But you have to know the good stores, so you can go in the list of the stores uh, from which I bought these. Usually you'll find good stuff, especially the dress, I guess. But I would say don't buy your dress here if it's your first Lolita dress. I will, I'm actually working on a project to offer a Lolita starter pack, maybe on my own store or something like that. So if I have done that, I will put a link in all my description that's called Lolita starter pack or something. And so those will be legitimate, right, good Lolita and a full coordinates or several options, several colors. I don't know yet, but if you're starting, I guess maybe this is safer than buying from AliExpress or Wish for your dress, but accessories, why not? Also, I want to do another video where I compare the prices between the same items on Wish, on AliExpress and on Taobao, if you can find them and how much it would be and see if it's really, if one is more affordable than the other. So. If this video is done, I will link it at the end in the playlist with also the other video of Wish. And if I have done other stores like that, I will put them all together in this playlist so you can watch ton of where to buy and where to not buy Dolita fashion. And if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing because I do two videos a week and I do very cool stuff like action Lolita where I try crazy things wearing Lolita dresses and yeah, I'm looking forward to see you here on my channel. And remember, everybody can be kawaii. Bye! -bye.